What's shaking nerds? Welcome back to another tutorial video. Today we're going to do hot delivery together. And this is a super easy task, you guys. I'm going to break it down super simple, super easy, just like the rest of my videos. So stick around, guys. We're going to do this. Let's talk about the vital items you're going to need for this task. You need these items or you can't complete it. The whole thing is you kind of stashing them away in these secret spots. So let's start with the two contacts you're going to need. This is from Ragman level two. You're also going to need two 6B47 helmets. This also is from Ragman level two. And then you're also going to need two gazelle armors. This comes from Ragman level three, but for them to even be in Ragman level three, you need to make sure you complete the task supervisor first. Something to keep in mind is when you're buying these items like the helmet and the armor, they don't need to be 100% durability, you guys. They can be zero if you want. So if you're looking for these on the flea market or anywhere, look for some cheap ones that have no durability at all because it doesn't matter for this task. You can, you can have them at zero durability and they still count. So just keep that in mind if you're buying the gazelles because you haven't done supervisor yet. One other thing to keep in mind is to do this all in one run, it is kind of tough, but it's doable for sure. Myself, I did this in two runs. I had the Comtax and the helmets in one bag, and then the next run I just brought the gazelle armor. If you want to do this in one raid, you guys, what you have to do is you have to wear one gazelle, wear the helmet, wear the Comtax, and then have one of each in your bag. The good thing about this is once you plant them, you don't have to survive the raid because after you plant them, you're going to be a naked boy running around. So, you know, don't bring anything else with you. If you don't want have a friend with you guarding you, but just realize you don't have to successfully extract. The first stop we're going to make you guys is the, where the contacts and the helmets have to be stored. That's in avocado. It's across from the generic store and it's on the Oli side. When you come to avocado, you're going to see at the end of the store is like a trash pile. So right here, there's like this trash pile and that's where you have to drop all four items. You have to wait 30 seconds for each item and you're done with, you know, the Comtax and the helmets. Here's the issue, you guys. After I do the first Comtax here or the first helmet, which whatever one it is, it won't let me press it again. So. I learned that if you go into your menu right after you do it, then it'll let you prompt it right away. So you don't have to move around and whatnot. See, like it won't let me do it. But if you go into your menu, you guys, there you go. Boom, done. So that's a little trick there for when you're dropping these. And after you drop all four of these, so it takes you at roughly two minutes, you're done and we can go on to the gazelles. The location to drop the gazelles is a total different location, but just as easy, you guys. I'm, I'm telling you guys right now, it's just as easy. It's at the front of the mall. It's outside. So if you are coming out of the middle front part of the mall, it's just to the left past the fence. You're going to see a stage, and that's where you want to go, you guys, is right where the stage is. Because to the right of the stage is another trash pile. I think it's a boxes and that's where you want to drop them. But I'm going to show you right now in a video on where it exactly is. Like I was saying earlier, it's outside the center entrance of the mall right here. And we're just going to go and look for now the stage. It's right here on our left. We're going to give it a little jumpy jump. Do a little jumpy jump. You got this, geeks. You got this. Jumpy jump. Worked every time. And there you go. You place them in these boxes. And again, guys, after you place the first one, all you have to do is go into your menu, drop the other one. And if you've dropped everything now, you're done. You do not have to survive this raid. You are just done. You don't have to worry about anything. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. I hope you liked it. If you did, think about giving it the old thumbs up, you know, hitting the subscribe button. And remember, I do stream five days a week. And if you guys ever have questions or need some help, I'm always there to give you guys a helping hand. So thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you nerds later.